What is going on, DMG Clan? Tonight is the night for the very first Odin 2 10,000 subscriber base model Odin 2 giveaway. Yes, the base model that you all have been waiting for for quite some time. Now, you haven't been waiting for that long because we made it to 10,000 subscribers very, very quickly, which is very crazy. Last month alone, we ended up hitting 3,000 subscribers, well, 2,995 subscribers total on the channel, which is really, really crazy to see that. And it was not long after somebody said I wasn't going to reach 10,000 subscribers within the year. Now, I wouldn't have said anything about thinking that I was going to reach that threshold unless, obviously, I didn't think I was going to reach it by the end of the year or any time sooner. Welcome everybody into the chat there. Green Scout, Gradivus, Quiggin Genesis. Hold on a second. I got a. I forgot to turn off my volume on my computer here. <clears throat> there we go. I don't want to hear myself talk. Um, <laughs> hopefully everybody's doing well tonight. Angel, Victor Diaz. Yeah, my service is whack, but hey, anything to watch the video and here to support. Thank you for supporting everybody, all the DMG clan members, everybody that watches my content, everybody that likes my content, anybody that subscribes to the channel, everything helps. Everything. I mean it. Like, you guys watch my videos, my five minute videos all the way to the end, my 10 minute videos, whatever. I know I have some videos that are very long. Anything helps with the YouTube algorithm, obviously. And it shows like I just I feel like yesterday I reached 10,000 and today we are at 11,100 subscribers and let me double check to see what that full number is as of tonight and see if that number grows because subscribers do help it's sitting at let me see here 11,097 total so close to 11,100 which is crazy and Qui 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 I gone Genesis Qui I gone I think I said that right I hope Q Q Q I gone I hope Q I gone <laughs> I think that's I try to pronounce everybody's name properly I hope uh, <laughs> I say some of your names uh, is it Juan or Jean 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 Sanchez How you doing Thank you for jumping in. Uh, Jean and I talk on discord if you guys want to talk to me on discord I don't mind chatting on discord and stuff like that, too um, I'm not the most like social on discord all the time uh, Because I do have a life outside of YouTube No, I still didn't say it right <laughs> um, I do YouTube uh, like I think about YouTube a lot um, but yeah, I do have a life outside of YouTube and I Try not to be on social media 24 7 even though I wake up, I check my YouTube, and I go to bed, I check my YouTube. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, and I check my YouTube. <laughs> so, it's kind of crazy. It's it's something that I enjoy doing. It's something that I have fun with. I enjoy hearing that you guys find a lot of my tutorials and stuff like that helpful. Um, 10,000 of you being part of the channel, and 11,000 ads of today. Um, Q, Q, Egon. Q, Egon. Q Igon or Q Egon? Igon. <laughs> Q Igon. I hope I I hope I'm saying this right. What is that? <laughs> A life? <laughs> um, yeah, so how's it going? Richard's Richard Tours, Break Bed, OE, in my country this time that you put the live. It's 2.30 in the morning, so I can't watch them. Oh darn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do lives at different times um, When it comes to me actually going live for maybe some gameplay and stuff like that I do want to do some gameplay stuff and That might be like later on down the road. You will find me changing the music every once in a while. I have a whole list of Like not copyright music, so I don't get copyright striked. Obviously. I want to be monetized for this stuff because monetization obviously helps now again you're all here for the odin 2 base model giveaway i'm sure some of you might be here to just hang out because that's what we're doing tonight some of you might be here for this thing the mig switch flash cart or the mig flash switch cart in russian if you want to say it that way um 
because I found out something about that and I'm going to share that with you guys. I want to hear your questions about that thing tonight as well. I had a bunch of questions. Um, you know the thing that happened way uh, away from the screen. <laughs> How's it going, Red Apple 1000? Ian Mulligan, welcome. And TNT, holy folks, the Mega Awesome, as I understand. You have to insert and eject the cart every time you want to change the ROM. I want to see how long it takes for that to get really annoying. So that part, so I'm going to answer that right now. So that part, Morrissey, Morrissey Muse, I hope I said that right, is annoying in a sense of if you have like 50 different games on the Meg Switch cart. Um, whereas this right here right now, Thank you, Victor Diaz. Best of luck to all of you homies out there. Let's go DMG clan. I wish I was home to watch this so my services wasn't so whack. Also, would you recommend the MIG switch? We'll get there. Well, I will answer that <laughs> when we get to that point. I bought a second one off of Valley Express because I'm not sure when or if the one that I pre-ordered on January 19th is coming. I emailed the company. They responded back to me three times saying that they were going to get back to me and ship it. It's just, I guess, production is behind because they didn't expect so many people to buy it. Not sure why they didn't expect so many people to buy it, which like a lot of people did. Even a lot of bigger content creators that have almost millions of subscribers and gamers on their channels, they've purchased it and they're wondering too. So would I recommend it? That depends. So... If you have a hack switch, like I do, and it's just for your own sole purposes of using the hack switch, dumping all your games to your hack switch and then playing them, it's not really beneficial for you to have something like this, I would say. Now, if you want to have a whole bunch of, if you buy the MIG Dumper, for example, if you want to have two different consoles playing the same game while you're on vacation or something, you have your MIG switch, you have the original game, you play offline, you're just playing like uh, Minecraft offline or Snow Day is a one player game, which I'm going to show you guys today. Um, <clears throat> it's a one player game and you have two switches. For example, you have kids or something. And, you know, these things get expensive after a while, after you spend 70, like this one was only 40 or 30 bucks. But you, you start spending $80 at a time. I know we're supposed to be supporting the development of Nintendo developers but like 80 bucks for one card and then you do with it what you want afterwards i think is legit and i think you should be able to do that and we've done that for years with ds games nintendo games uh, sega playstation everything we've dumped our games we put them on the computer put them on our emulators we put them on our actual devices even the ps2 i hacked the ps2 and i dumped games and put them on there right so um, that's, I, I, that's original hardware. I'm playing on original hardware with the games that I owned many years ago and put them on my hard drive. And yeah, so would I recommend the MIG Switch? That's, you know, that's something that you, I would recommend it for my own sake because I do have kids and I showed them how to use this thing. And it's really not, like they still don't really understand the whole, uh, put it in, put it like, like put it in and then pull it out thing, whatever, because sometimes it doesn't work properly. So. I'm going to show you that right now. Um, I have some games on this actual card. So if I pop this in here, it's going to cycle to the last game I played, which was Link's Awakening. I pull it back out. Oh, hold on a second. My camera's not showing. There we go. <laughs> my, uh, my manager is in behind closed doors. <laughs> so Victor Diaz, thank you very much for the $10 donation. That was crazy. So yeah, so would I recommend it? We'll figure that out by the end of the day, the night. Um, uh, so yeah, basically, as you saw there, it did, sometimes it does grab the next game that's in the list, and then sometimes it doesn't. So you have to wait for what I've noticed in the, the right hand or left hand corner is that little symbol. When it, start, when it goes away saying that the card's not in there and you pop it back in, the next game will cycle through and i only have like a handful of games on this card right now just to show you know how not annoying it really is it's just like taking out a game and popping in a new one whereas when it does bug out and it doesn't cycle through the next game that kind of gets annoying but i think that's just a glitch in the card and hopefully that gets fixed 
Now, I keep doing this, and yeah, it's cycling through all the games that are on here. If you only have like three or four games or five games, a handful of games, then yes, I recommend this because say you're going on vacation too and you are, you know, just using the MIG switch alongside the dumping tool that just attaches to your computer that can dump your games to your computer and then onto your MIG switch, then that's another thing. That's great because the MIG dumper, whenever it decides to release to us, will be a great thing because not everybody has, you know, a, a hack switch like this or a means of hacking their switch if you guys saw my video today i did hack this and it's not for everybody um yeah i i damaged my very first nintendo switch light and that was just a lesson learned this is the motherboard for it and i got a new motherboard ordered on aliexpress to actually replace that so <laughs> that's gonna be coming soon oh my god i love that controller what brand is it uh, this is the Binbok controller. Um, these controllers I did a review on, I think last year or a year and a half ago, and they've lasted. They're they're great. They're big. They are very hefty in the hands. Um, if you have bigger hands like I do, I got rid of my Joy-Cons very, very quickly when I got these things. And they do have macro buttons on the back as well. I've never really, I think these are only secondary buttons though to like main buttons. So they, they're awesome, like Nixie Joy-Cons. <laughs> yeah, so I love the Nixie Joy-Cons. I don't have them upstairs right now. They're actually down in my living room. Um, I did a, a review about the Nixie Joy-Cons uh, and I bought a second pair of those because I like them so much. It's the Nixie, um, they're kind of like, like Nixie has like ones like this too. And they do act as real Joy-Cons. So they have the motion and everything, and they actually are able to, you know, use the, the gyro or the, I think there's a gyro in this one, and they vibrate, you can change the lighting and everything. It's it's a very cool controller, um, and you can have the attachment. I don't have the attachment with me right now either because I just keep them connected to my, my Nintendo Switch, but they have shown their wear. Like you can kind of hear the, the plastic bouncing off the wall and these are like i said a couple of years old um i know that's kind of an annoying sound to hear but <laughs> so they're, they're they're a really nice controller they were at the time i think i paid like 65 or 70 bucks or something for them i think they've gone down in price but um i haven't owned the nixie brand ones that kind of looks like this so yeah the hori the hori kind of controller yeah those are those are different though like the hori ones i didn't buy for a specific reason because i heard that you can't use them like a joy con controller um i'm not sure if that's true still or not send us the link yeah i can do that um which one the one for nixie or the one for these ones <laughs> uh let's see we'll go amazon See if I can try to find them for you. I think I got my account popped up here. Binbok. Not sure, because Binbok is like the brand from China. And there they are right there. So Binbok. Oh, they have the Nixie ones. Oh no, that's Binbok as well. So Binbok, I guess, has like a, a GameCube style controller as well, which is kind of neat. Um, I can't see the clear ones anymore. That was a clear one. Yeah, that was a different style, though. These are the same style. I'll just, I'll link this one, and then you guys can kind of just look through. And here we go. <laughs> Binbok, never mind, then. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, this is not letting me even copy and paste that URL. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find a share option. Here, let me, let me do this. How about this? In oh, right, let's go controller. I review so many controllers on my channel. <laughs> I don't even know if I can find that one's like a really old, like it's not old, old, but like that's the thing. Like I started up this channel. Let me. I'm gonna go back to my videos. What's that? You're gonna try to look too. I'm trying to look too. Uh, BSP. No, that's not it. And I do a lot of different controllers. Like there's the BSP controllers that have the the switch capability 
Um, so yeah, my very first video was December 31st, 2021. And two and a half, not even two and a quarter years later, we are sitting at 11,000 subscribers, and that's crazy. I had like 200 subscribers. Thank you, Truthful Joe. Thank you, Michael Benny. Thank you for being part of this because this is awesome that I, re I recognize a lot of your names and then I see new names and I'm I want to try to remember everybody <laughs> because like I, I try to remember everybody that jumps in here Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. Oh, that's why because I named them. You got it. Okay. And yeah, my wife's gonna my wife's gonna send it in the chat, I think. So yeah, it's been uh, kind of a fun journey. And I want to keep going, obviously, with this because I really enjoy doing this. Just make a post after tonight and share those links. And my wife's going to actually share that in the chat. Now, I never thought anybody would say, hey, these are, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so Binbok, and then there's another company that makes, like, the same one, I guess, where the Nixie brand controllers that I bought, they do have st uh, controllers styled like these ones, and... The ones that I really liked are the, the GameCube style controllers and they have dual joysticks that are this big. You can swap the joysticks out and everything, which is really easy to do. Or you can make it look like the, the, the actual Nintendo GameCube controller, which is what I liked. So <laughs> thanks to DMG's wife. <laughs> She's Mrs. Mrs. DNA or what did they call you that one night? You remember? You don't remember. <laughs> Mrs. DNA, I think. Did you have to wear a mask for your video in 2021? No, I, I did not have to wear a mask. <laughs> yeah, so my very first video, if you guys ever go back to that um, and want to watch it, it's only got like a thousand views on it, which is kind of cool. It was about the Easy Flash Omega Definitive Edition. And that was kind of a cool thing to go back and watch that compared to today. And even some of my other videos back then compared to today has been interesting because I started off with that and then I started off with talking about like the Game Boy Color flash card, Game Boy Advance, U I did a Game Boy Advance USB-C recharging um, modification and then I did a guide about the Easy Flash and like there's just a whole bunch of stuff that I like to go back and look at. I even did a Game Boy Advance modification for putting your Game Boy Advance up to the TV with an HDMI out. So like I started off with a lot of that kind of stuff and then I started doing guides and then started doing reviews and I still do that stuff. I st just a mix of stuff and I feel like I've well, I've obviously gotten better at something. <laughs> so um, you guys have, you know, really, really done a lot to help the channel grow. And like I said, uh, let's get to two million. Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. I want to see a plaque or two on the wall behind us that we're, we're staring at right now alongside the the, the gaming and stuff and everything uh, more gaming streams like the minecraft ones yeah i i had that request a lot i know i was doing the gaming thing for a bit because i was trying that out and then i was just getting busy and stuff like that and i just couldn't keep up with the actual gaming part of stuff and then doing editing on videos and everything like that because like sometimes those shorts that you see like that short from was it yesterday the nintendo switch light got better the one that got twelve thousand views on it that video took me like 20 minutes to edit because i recorded it and then i tried to make it into what it is and yeah it got twelve thousand views which is cool <laughs> like it's just something that some of these shorts like you don't get a lot of views on some of them some of them I've spent like half an hour editing, like even uh, a short that I did for the the last Odin 2 giveaway, the one that where I was doing the rap thing. I was trying to like mix it so that it would sound good and everything and work well with the actual flow of the instrumentals from the music of the Eminem lyrics and everything. So, but then there's sometimes a video I'll record um, there's a video that's coming out next week, and we're going to talk more about the MIG Splish, MIG Splish Flash Flart. That's a, a tongue twister card. I don't know. I always I me messed it up the other day, too. And that's why my intro is like, huh? That's the Russian side. I thought that was funny. <laughs> that thing is sweet. Always glad to hear that someone continues to live. Yeah, so like I, I want to do that. Um, but yeah, like the, that video from 
What was I talking about? The video from the other day? You don't remember? You're eating chocolate. <laughs> Anybody want to know what we're, we're snacking on tonight? Have you guys had those, uh, what was the Oreos called again? The spaceship Oreos. <laughs> they have pop rockets in them. <laughs> That's what we, we had some Popeye's chicken for dinner because we didn't want to do any dishes tonight and we got some cookies. So yeah, <laughs> we, we did that and uh, so yes, the make split, this make splish flash flart, that's what I'm gonna call it, is kind of a cool thing to have. Now, I'm gonna tell you now, I found a loophole today. You buy one of these off AliExpress, you can ask the person that you bought it from a specific question on how to get specific things for this card. And I'm going to say those specific things because I'm not going to tell you what those are, but I'm hinting around to it. And they'll actually give you a login and everything to get those specific things. And if you know where I'm going with that, it's kind of crazy that they're letting you do that. Now, is that shop on AliExpress going to last long? Probably not. But that's the thing about these. They need five specific files. And those five specific files I've showed you in the guide, or not the guide, the video I did the other day about that is very important to each individual game. Now, that being said, somebody else mentioned the four other files, for example, which are the certificate, the ID, and all that kind of stuff. Um, they are surprisingly good with milk. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink a lot of milk um, anymore these days, but... I'm sure that actually they'd probably be good with some almond milk or something too, because I drink almond milk. <laughs> so do you have a Switch OLED modded yet? If you don't, are you planning to mod it? Mod it, yeah. Are you planning to mod it like the Switch Lite? Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do this one. I seen online that um, the original Switches, which is what this one is, are a lot easier to do than the Switch Lights. And I'm going to open it up see if I can do it and that's what I'm gonna do and if I can then I will I've ordered the one part for it and the little cables or the mod chips and everything they're pretty cheap now are they cheap in a sense of like I said I broke my very first switch unfortunately because I wasn't paying attention the one solder point right here got damaged and because I'm not a professional solderer and I'm trying to, I don't know if that's even a term, um, trying to advance my soldering skills. As you can see, I was messing around with other soldering stuff on this board specifically, because I was just messing around with things and trying to get things going. Um, the big thing that I've looked online, like I, I like to study things until I actually think I can actually advance in them. Like I self-taught myself how to code. I self-taught myself how to rip these things apart and I've never damaged anything crazily in the past by taking things apart and putting it back together. But yeah, anyways, let's go back to this make switch before I get sidetracked with that question again. <laughs> no hardware mods for the original red box switch. It all happens on software. It, oh, that's the one without, cause this one is, mine is the hack 001 with the brackets 01 on it or dash 01 where the one that had the not like the one that didn't have the dash 01 which was the original red box yeah that was all software you could um that was the the motherboard that i used to have way way back and i just plugged it in it was just a motherboard i plugged it in and used it um how's it going getting lit welcome 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 who else did i truthful joe we will not stop until we get 1 million and beyond <laughs> Did you have to wear a mask? I already read that one. I know I read comments out loud sometimes. It's just because I want to make sure I've seen everybody else's comments in here. <laughs> I want to I want to converse back and forth with you guys. Uh, all you needed was a paper clip. Yeah, a paper clip, I think. And now I guess there's like an easier way with um, a jig or something, right? I guess. I, I don't know if that's still a thing anymore. I don't know if you can still do that. But yeah, that was that was a big thing. Emulating is from you. <laughs> Everything is from me. Yeah, so I do teach a lot about that kind of stuff just because I started emulating games back on the PSP and that was way, way back. And I've kind of talked about that with you guys before. 
and it's just something that I've done and then when it came to Android like I started doing that on like maybe the S2 I think or S3 was when I really first started doing it on Android and my Odin 2 Pro the A button sticks but I think it's from protective sleeves have you had that problem have you tried using some rubbing alcohol to clean it you played a lot do you eat cheetos when you're playing it <laughs> i haven't had any button stick on mine though um maybe try to try to clean it a little bit with some rubbing alcohol just some isopropyl alcohol just turn the, the device off and spray it down on the buttons and then just clean it off with a cloth and see if that'll get in there i haven't had anything stick though do you play it a lot <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you do so king trio anybody that's new um in here he won they won the the very first odin 2 pro giveaway for was it the 5000 it was the 5000 wasn't it i think it was the 5000 yeah and then i did a bonus uh second odin 2 christopher paravex looking healthy dude also congrats on crossing 10k thank you very much yes i uh i finally got a haircut i got a trimming and one thing i'm gonna say don't ask the hairdresser to do your beard because they charge you extra. And she trimmed my beard really, really, really down a lot. I have no facial hair right now, basically. But it looks okay. I think it looks okay. <laughs> I guess I played a whole lot. And yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, so if your buttons start sticking or anything, it could just because there's your sweat, your hands, your they're smaller buttons too, right, on the Odin 2. Um, I didn't bring my Odin 2 up here. I brought this one, but... <laughs> But even like even the switch light, like these buttons are I, I do a weekly clean of a lot of my devices. I'll spray them down. I have this from the dollar store and I'll just buy like a big bottle of rubbing alcohol and then I just spray it down, rub it down with a cloth and it really gets inside the crevices and stuff. Make sure you get a higher uh, like 70% rubbing alcohol, the more percentage, the better. Um, but 70% is good enough. You don't want too much water in there so that it's not, you know, getting inside anything and killing anything. But, uh, so yeah, uh, any questions you guys have about tonight of this thing, I will try to answer. Um, I think I tried to answer the one where you asked if it's recommended and I think so. Like, I, I think it's a good thing to have and it depends on your library of games. It depends on if you have a hack switch and if you have the dumper. So if you have the dumper, then yeah, I spray just like this. Here, I'll show you. I'll do it live. My, I have to change my table mat tomorrow anyways. So I just go like this, spray it right down and then just rub it down. Fine. I've, I've done that for years and never had any issues. And then I just use, not sure if you guys can hear me, but I use a, just a microfiber cloth and just go like that get on the button spray it down and then if you want to get your joysticks really good and even you can just if you want to just go like that too give you a nice cleaning session if you want to learn how to clean your stuff <laughs> i do this with my cell phones too like i for years like i'll like once a month i usually um i'll take my whole case off and everything i'll wash it in the sink and these stickers, these are my decals that you guys can see here. They're almost waterproof. Like I've washed this this case like a probably a handful of times since I put this sticker on here, and it still hasn't peeled. It's really cool that it does that it hasn't peeled. Now, yeah, this is my uh, Red Magic. I haven't really told you guys about this phone too much. I've had people ask me about it, but this is the Red Magic 8S Pro. It is literally a beast of a phone. It's got the same processor as the AYN Odin 2 does, but it has the overclocked version of that processor, meaning that it has uh, a higher, um, uh, uh, it's got 3.3 gigahertz, 3.36 gigahertz on the, the GP, or yeah, the GPU or the CPU. Um, that's the overclock of it. And it's got a mode called Diablo mode. I didn't know that though. At first when I bought it, somebody actually on discord was like, Oh, have you tried Diablo mode? And I was like, what the heck is that? And I tried it out. So yeah, it's just spray right onto it. Like, don't be crazy. Don't go like right in here and spray it, but just like about six inches, seven inches away, spray it down, wipe it down, 
get in there like you can be cautious if you want to by turning it off first and then spraying it down with some 70 proof rubbing alcohol and you'll be good to go like even um like i have kids and i'll do these things quite often like i'll just hey you guys got me cleaning things why, why am i doing this <laughs> i guess these are pretty gross but yeah you're gonna <laughs> clean your your stuff up just grab yourself a microfiber cloth and then wash your microfiber cloth uh, every once in a while too because your microfiber cloth will get pretty gross after a while but i have this stuff always with me and yeah it just gets it feeling a little bit better and if you want to go really crazy get some q-tips and get right in there and clean it right up not sure if anybody's getting excited about me cleaning this but i'm just gonna do it all now <laughs> my wife is <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll just grab all of our devices. I'm like, hey, I'm going to clean everything right now. <laughs> She's like, Give me, I'll clean my phone too. But I take things apart too. So like, I'll take things like um, controllers and stuff apart. And I'll clean those on the inside using like a soft toothbrush and a Q-tip and a brush. And look at everything's still working. It's just rubbing alcohol. It's made to, you know, evaporate like that. And... I've done that, and now these feel a lot better. They feel so much better. <laughs> but yeah, so good to know about the decal. I'm afraid to use them, and and that phonic. What does that say? Clock speed. Yeah, clock speed. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I have brain farts sometimes. I feel like the whole don't use alcohol thing is a bit over exaggerated. <laughs> I'll be back on clan team again soon. Had an injury I was recovering from, but with a lot of going to the gym, I had to work. So we'll see you soon. Well, thanks for jumping in King Trio. I noticed I haven't seen you a lot uh, commenting on the channel lately, but I hope that Odin 2 is serving you well. <laughs> what did I miss? Nothing mostly yet. Maybe you want to go back and watch it, but um, just kind of talking about a whole bunch of stuff, just hanging out and i literally just cleaned uh my switch because somebody asked me about spraying down my switch with rubbing alcohol and like even when it comes to motherboards and stuff i know some people are like don't do that and i'm like i've done it to a lot of motherboards on even phones i spray the whole thing down just softly brush over it with a brush and then just let it sit there and dry you can also use i'm giving you guys a tutorial for free um <laughs> like i always do i guess really you're just watching them on youtube right um i guess you have to watch ads though unless you have a membership so um i use one of these i have it's a electric duster and it's really good for getting in like your crevices of your fans and stuff uh all this kind of stuff and even my phone my phone has an active cooling fan on it on the back and it does get some stuff inside there every once in a while so i'll just blow it right through and it'll just get rid of everything that's in there and this one goes up to i think it was like twenty thousand rpm or something like that and it's it was only like 50 bucks and it's a lot cheaper than having to buy and it's good for your computer too i dust out my computer every once in a while but it's a lot cheaper than having to buy ten dollar cans of duster dust off or whatever it's called um, I used to do that all the time and then I got that thing. It's not the most powerful like you can get ones that are very very powerful For a lot more money, but It does the trick. It does what I needed to and When it comes to like surface dusting like even your keyboards and stuff It'll dust out all the crumbs and everything that get in there, but yeah Very good. That phone is an emulator beast. <laughs> it definitely is um yeah so it's just as much of a beast as the odin 2 that we're giving away tonight or i'm giving away tonight with a 256 gigabyte micro sd card by team wing team wing group is the company and if you want to see it down here um this company a lot of people said that it was really good and i've had my 512 gigabyte and a 256 gigabyte card in uh my retroid and my odin 2 for the last couple months now and i really like it that i haven't had any issues with it and tonight you guys are obviously here for this the ayn odin 2 base model base model black and it's going to one of you around 9 30 tonight i am going to be running the live everything's mostly prepped and ready to go and we are just hanging out tonight checking out this thing hopefully 
checking out this thing. I know we keep getting sidetracked with other things. So if you have any questions about the MIG Switch flash cart, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Um, I already answered a couple questions on the review or the questions and answers the other night. So definitely better for the environment than getting cans over and over again. Yeah, that too, like that's definitely uh, a good tip to actually know, yeah, like having a whole bunch of cans randomly everywhere. Um, and if you want something more powerful, uh, you can get an air compressor. I have an air compressor too, but that thing has, you know, it's out in my garage, so I'm not really going to carry that in my house and spray things down, but <laughs> um, an air compressor really has a lot more. Clean out my PS4. It sounds like a like a plane. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, check into that and put some new thermal paste on it uh, on the board if you, if you need to. Um, I cleaned out an Xbox 360. I think it was like last year or something like that. It was uh, my wife's brother's old Xbox 360. I even opened up the, the power brick and the power brick was so disgusting on the inside that I was surprised that it didn't even catch fire. <laughs> like that thing was so gross. Like I sent the, cause her parents were using it for a while and then they said they were having issues with it. And then I cleaned it all out, took it all apart. The, the Xbox 360 Slim is a pain in the butt to take apart though. Um, Mrs. Mr. Red, those controllers look slick. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, I've talked about those control that controller already. Um, not sure why that's. Did I spray the screen? I didn't spray the screen down on that. That's why it's gross. Now I gotta spray the screen down because I looked at that and it's disgusting. Sometimes I use the window cloth. Do you guys remember the window cloth? It's right here. There's the window cloth. If you ever have a problem with your screen's getting smudgy, get a window cloth. It's very nice, and it just gets all rid of those smudges. Look at how clean that looks again. I think it looks clean, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, or it's an, an eyeglasses cloth. It's basically that. This is just a bigger version of it, and it's for windows, and I stole it from my wife. She doesn't like that, and I took it from her. We don't know where the other one is, but even this is... Oh, you have it with the Windex now? <laughs> we couldn't find the other one for a while, though, remember? No. I had both of them. Oh, yeah. This thing needs. This is my kids were playing on this today. So, oh, grab that cloth again, and now clean that off. <laughs> Sounds like you're breaking it when you take it apart. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's because of the tabs and how they put the tabs on that thing, and it's just really not the most fun system to take apart. Once you have it apart the first time, though. It's easier to get apart the second time. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I remember the original, original Xbox 360. My buddy and I had to take that apart because it got the red ring of death and we were trying to fix it, but didn't have any success. So yeah, that wasn't a thing. Slim that is. <laughs> yeah, so this controller I was talking about earlier is just the Binbok. Um, what do they call What do they call it? inbox switch joypad or something did you share the review video or no oh you did yeah switch or yeah bin box switch joypad controller for switch and it, they are true joy cons unlike the what was the other one that somebody somebody said i forget what the name is of those ones but i never bought them i remember the name by hearing it but anyway so Tonight, what I was planning on doing is I bought this game specifically to dump it and show you the whole scenario of how that all works and stuff. And it's brand new. It's not open and everything. And that's one big thing that a lot of people were asking about this thing. Um, I wanted to try to answer some questions of what people asked on my video the other day is what if, you know, somebody buys this game, for example, and they dumped it and then they sold it to you or something and then they have a copy and you have the copy now and they have all the certificate files which yeah i get that whole aspect of it and everything but it's only the people that like i think those people that have like say this was an online game for example like mario kart those people that sold you that game would have to be not smart in a sense to do that because they're risking their 400 500 nintendo switch getting banned and then risking yours getting banned 
We don't know yet exactly if that's the case with this thing, if we can get banned or if they just kick you off, because I know... Um... Nice. <laughs> we made it to 11,100, guys. <laughs> My wife was just showing me that. I know um, with having the same account on two different consoles, for example, if my kids are playing the same game from the same uh, account, I've seen it where my kids are, they have to get, they got kicked off because somebody else was playing on it. Now, another thing that I found is that I have my home console. This is my home console. And then my kids console, for example, um, they can have another account alongside my main account and play a game on there, like Spyro, for example, that's digitally downloaded. And then I can play it on my home console. I've noticed you can do that. But if you go on the same account, I know it kicks you off, but it doesn't bane you or anything. Now, people have already reverse engineered these. And well, at least they've said they've reverse engineered these. So it's gonna be interesting to see when Nintendo decides to do that. Now, I believe in game preservation and what i'm gonna do is dump this onto here and this will just sit in here or my kids can play it and i probably won't let my kids play this anytime soon because it's rated 17 plus but um if i wanted to i don't know say i wanted to give this to my buddy or something and i was like hey don't go online just play it whatever then he can do that or you know vice versa but uh, the fact that these companies on AliExpress are legitimately saying, hey, we have a database full of these things for you to actually be able to play, then that that's where it gets into that, you know, that gray area of the whole situation of everything. And what I'm showing you right now is my hacked Nintendo Switch. And there is a make Switch tool that they give you for your hack nintendo switch that allows you just to dump the game um that you have inside of your device so for example i didn't even put this in there so if i take this snow day i plug this in and i do this i go into the application easy one click dump it's going to dump the game so that's going to do <laughs> what the MIG switch dumper is gonna do and that's gonna just grab that whole game file all the data files the certificates the id everything and put it on the root of my sd card so this does the handles everything for you so if that MIG switch dumper never shows up holy cow juan sanchez thank you very much for the 50 dollars, mr dna thanks for all your tutorials and videos like these ones to teach others much appreciated and thanks for giving back to the community you are very most wel welcome zuan sanchez thank you very much for donating sending that super chat on the channel any super chats do help the channel keep going and growing and help with super or super giveaways <laughs> super giveaways like this because <laughs> obviously you guys know like these things are expensive and i'm doing this based off of you know what i can handle giving away back to you guys but i also want to give back to you guys because you guys help the channel grow Eleven thousand one hundred of you are on the channel as of right now what are we at Eleven thousand one hundred one yet are we are we there yet <laughs> 11 11 11 <laughs> one uh, it's still it's still at one 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 thank you john very very much and yes tonight if you guys donate on the channel you gain an entry into the giveaway. So $1 equals an extra entry for those that missed out on the base entries. So I gave everybody a chance with a bonus video, which was the MIG Switch flash cart video. You gain an entry. I gathered all the entries for that video already. I gave three other videos. I have it all down on a notepad right here. Um, I did three other videos. I did a post. I did a post that I had to manually go through. I'm never doing the post thing again, by the way, because I didn't realize that I couldn't grab all of the comments from the posts and put them in the commenting picking tool or whatever. <laughs> so I'm never doing that again. 
because I had to manually go through 200 and something comments and delete like part of the comments and the replies that took me like half an hour or something today to do that but I got everything prepped and ready to go anything that's donated tonight uh just kidding uh he's using deep sea <laughs> yes I deep sea was the only one that I could figure out um Egyptian uh comment <laughs> Question mark. I'm so confused. Pre-ordered a MIG dumper, but then canceled it. Impulse buy. I bought my make switch on AliExpress. Yeah, so I bought mine on AliExpress as well. I bought a second one. But yeah, so back to the, the tonight. Any $1 donations. Thank you, Super Tech Tricks. Uh, do go towards the giveaway tonight. So if you missed any of the base free entries, you guys have to pay attention to my videos, my content, my videos, my posts. Well, not the posts anymore. Posts, I'm not going to do um, any more posts about, hey, this post is going to gain you an extra entry because the posts are a little bit more tedious and it's not really worth it for me to spend a half an hour trying to go through the post or whatever. But I will do shorts. I will do um, videos, base videos. Next week, I've already got a video that is coming out that I'm going to be telling you guys about. Um, well, I've told members about it already. One video coming out next week that's already... I'm not telling you which one it is. Only members know which it is. That's going to talk about the second Odin 2 giveaway already. Now, I'm going to have a video that's coming out that's going to talk to you about how to get the second Odin 2. I like to play video games. I am trying to make a game out of these ones. I'm not making these ones based off of, hey, I've reached, you know, even though I've made part of this a 10,000 giveaway. Holy cow. Thank you very much, Super Tech Tricks. Thank you, Max C. Max C joined to become a member the other day, yesterday, I think it was, or two days ago now. Thanks for being a resource to folks like me that are noobs to the current state of the mobile gaming. Got to check out your coding channels too. Yeah, so my coding channel, I am trying to revamp it again. Uh, thank you very much, Max C. Um, I did get your, your super thanks on that video from today as well. So that's going to be going into the, the giveaway as well. I... I'm going to be getting that coding channel back up and running. I was thinking of sharing a couple like short games that you guys could learn how to code as well. Um, because obviously I like playing games and I self taught myself how to do all this kind of stuff. A lot of it was trial and error. A lot of it was watching YouTube videos myself, looking online, um, you know, just basically spending hours and hours. And then I got to a point where I was teaching other people how to do it but it wasn't worth it at the time for me to keep doing that because I wasn't getting the views. I was getting a lot of me being a teacher sort of rather than um, me, you know, saying, hey, this is how you do it. And then I'd have people asking me more questions, even though I've already answered those questions in the video. And that's where I was like, I don't even think you watch the videos. And then, yeah, so that was why I stopped doing it. Cracker Jack donated $4.99. Thank you. Good luck, everybody. Or $5. Great channel. Thanks for everything, bro. You are very welcome. Thank you for sending the super chat, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of had a... Um, I was reading the other comment and then I, <laughs> the, I forgot what I was saying there. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, Cracker Jack. You're welcome to. I do enjoy doing this stuff for you guys, and I enjoy seeing new gamers come to the channel, and it does get to be a lot, but I like to try to get back to everybody at Cadden when it comes to questions. When it comes to just commenting on videos, I'll try to heart as many comments as I can. It's crazy to see uh, back like even last year, for example, I'll try to explain my YouTube channel while this is doing its thing still. Um, last year, I was able to actually go through my comments and clear them all out. This year, I have not been able to actually go through and clear out all my comments or heart everybody's comments. Don't take it personally. I like to get hearts from comments. Actually, today, Mr. Sugiano, Mr. Sugiano finally hearted one of my comments today. He is, I guess, camping up in Ontario, up Northern Ontario. He even said that on his YouTube short today. And I commented on his video from today because he was talking about uh, he was away camping or whatever and he does his videos when he goes away. 
and I said something about, I was like, I thought you always just lived outside because you have that huge lumberjack beard or whatever. And he finally actually heard in one of my, uh, my comments, because I do comment on his videos quite often. I watch his videos daily. You guys should go check him out as well. Stack overflow for everyone. <laughs> yeah, that is the big thing. So I've never really contributed to Stack Overflow myself. I go to Stack Overflow quite often. And I've had people that are like, hey, how do you do this? I've literally gone to Stack Overflow, copied the code, gave it to them. And I said, this is how you do it. I double checked the code or something or tried to tweak it a little bit. And then <laughs> I was like, this is how you do it. <laughs> Don Nijon, Nijin. I think I said your name, your name right. Hopefully, thank you for the donation or the one up sticker, the super sticker, right? That's what that is. I am still trying to learn what these super chats are and super stickers are and what everything is. How long do you guys think I'll take for a make switch clones to appear on the market? Um, so there was a post about that. Uh, I guess there was a clone. Maybe it could have been a fake. Who knows? We don't know until it shows up, right? So it was like the R4 cards, for example. There was a whole bunch of R4 card clones that came out not long after the original R4 card came out. I think it was, I think it took a while actually for that, but. Um, yeah, so uh, the R4 card clones, that was a huge, they're, they're all clones now, basically. Uh, like they're all those white ones and everything. They're all the same thing in a sense, other than like the real time save functionality on some of them and whatever. But yeah, so that's just, uh, I don't know. Like these things, they do, like the big thing people are like, oh, I don't want to unplug it, plug it back in to like cycle through my games. Then all I have to say is keep five games on it at a time. You're not going to be playing all 50 of those games. It's like emulation, for example. You have 200 games on your SD card and that's a little bit different i guess because you know you can cycle through your games and select what game you want to play whatever and then you stay on that game whereas these you know you don't need a huge micro sd card that's the other thing i've noticed um i had a micro sd card that actually didn't work for me and now this is done so here this is all done it's done dumping and now i have to plug this into my computer and grab those files and i'm still i still have the game the game's still in my possession so i'm gonna close this down um and now i'm out of the homebrew menu and i can take this game out and plug this into my computer i'm just gonna leave this here and uh show you how this goes so i might not be able to show you my screen because i don't know if i set that up properly today where's my core there it is oh i still gotta go back into the homebrew menu anyway so anyways let's do this but clone wise, yeah, so I don't know, like we will probably see them. It depends on how fast they can properly um, reverse engineer these. Let's let's open this. I'm going to open this card up after in a second. I know uh, Daki Yudon has opened his up. Now, the make dump tool. Let me see if I have my video, my window capture. Yeah, there it is right there. So this puts all the files into a folder, as you guys can see uh, in there. Uh, make dump tool, there's the file right there and it actually converts it properly. So all of my secret files are inside this folder. So I can copy this. I'm gonna just copy it. I don't know. I'm gonna copy it right here for now. And that's gonna take some time to do that. So I'll copy that there. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna close this down though. While I'm doing that. <laughs> you don't want to be personal stack overflow. I know this is random, but any chance you can give me the link to the legit R4 SDHC save update. I want to purchase one. I've started following your videos. Thanks. Which smart, like the smart update? Oh wow, a whole bunch of just random <laughs> chats just kind of use a flipper zero. No. There we go. Um, the YS menu for the R4 card. If I ever talk to Mr. Sugiano, Jonathan Aguilar. Oh, thank you, John. I didn't even notice that, Jonathan. Thank you for the super sticker. The $2 super sticker. Did you get that one too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My wife's in the background. She is 
paying attention to all this tonight um like i said for any one dollar donation that's one entry to the giveaway if you guys want to jump in we have until 9 30 tonight we're just chilling out hanging out drinking some tea drinking coffee drinking drinking cookies and chocolate or eating cookies and chocolate i think she's almost finished her chocolate bar over there <laughs> It's okay, I had four of those Pop Rocket cookies. Those are really good. Those uh, space cookies. I got 14 games dumped. Yeah, so like, you don't have to put all 14 games on this thing though, right? So, um, before when I dumped games, I only grabbed the XCI file. Didn't know any better. And then now I had to go through my stack of games. And like, I got a couple more here that I've already gone through, like Smash Bros and Minecraft and Rayman and yeah you can put it on the the sd card and throw it in and i was going to tell you about the sd card i tried a lexar sd card and that lexar sd card wasn't working properly but the one that i'm using right now is this 128 gigabyte uh, evo i also have this one um my lexar 512 gigabyte this one does work as well or any of these Lexar uh, play cards, they work. Now, those are the play cards that I use normally in my uh, Switch too, because I like those ones for that. And I have the Silicon Power Superior. I call it Silicon Power because I think that used to be the company's name. Um, I used to have Silicon Power SSDs and stuff, but I use this one and it works. But the Lexar one that I tried, it's, it's not up here either. It's downstairs still in my other, or maybe it's, no, I don't think it's in that computer. No, I don't think it's in that computer. But yeah, it, it just, I guess there was some cards. MIG, the website actually said um, that there was... I might not get what you ordered, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but AliExpress, I won't even go there. I've I've never, I haven't had like crazy issues with AliExpress. Um, what? You have the chat up? Oh yeah, it's probably delayed on your side. Right, because it was delayed on my on my end. But yeah, um, what am I what am I doing here? I'm waiting for this to copy. Still, we're at 21 minutes. My so it does take a while to copy it directly. You could just technically shut down your uh, Nintendo Switch if you wanted to take the micro SD card and then copy it over, which is usually faster. But I find that using this way is a lot slower. So after your last video of the R4 and the DS, I'm definitely getting a 3DS XL. Yeah, if you want to get a 3DS, I do have, I have the 2DS XL, um, the new 2DS XL. It depends on what you plan on doing with it. And if you want the 3D functionality, um, it, I don't know. I like the 2DS, but the 3DS XL, I want to get one because I want to... Uh, solder in the HDMI out option, which is a really cool feature to have if I want to do some gameplay and stuff like that. Um, that goes back to when you guys were saying, oh, I should do some more gameplay on the channel. I actually have an idea for something that I want to share. It's going to involve Minecraft and yeah, it's going to be something that I'm going to share down the road uh, for lives. I bought a motherboard off AliExpress and then a switch OLED pre-soldered. <clears throat> is a hit or miss company but i don't know if it's all good items to be true so it depends on what you're buying now you kind of have to do a little bit of research because i've seen even the odins on there but i think those are resellers that bought a whole bunch of them or something from ayn or something sometimes it is there i think ayn is on there but like the the mig switch when i bought this on there I did pay more than um, the Make Switch website. So the MIG dumper and the Make Switch card that I pre-ordered totaled with taxes and shipping was $200. I paid I think $10 shipped for this thing. And that was with my discount code with uh, AliExpress and stuff like that. And then the price went down, which was great. So I bought a second one. But you just got to keep an eye out on the sellers. Look at uh, their star rating. Um, AliExpress, um, do your research to make sure. Um, I have something that I'm going to be sharing on the channel next week or a couple, not next week, but the week after 
I bought recently and I guess it was something that has been out for at least a year I didn't know that and yeah I'm not gonna go there I'm gonna tell you guys about it but AliExpress is sometimes hit or miss and you have to buy things knowing that hey you're probably gonna be stuck with that thing because jumping through the hoops that you have to jump through to return things with AliExpress is super annoying um, I've only returned one thing ever and I'm going through a return process right now with the thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and it's hard to um, talk to some of the sellers over there because it's usually all in China and stuff so they don't translate well sometimes and I don't think they understand sometimes what you're saying versus what they're saying um, they offered to send me a battery for this thing that I got because it wasn't turning on properly and it just kept on turning back off after I charged it overnight and stuff. So they offered to send me a battery. I was like, so you want me to open this thing up? And then that voids my warranty. So <laughs> yeah, that, that was basically the gist of it. So I'm waiting for them to get back to me again. If they don't get back to me by Monday, I'm just gonna buy the shipping label because it does say that they're gonna return or pay for the return shipping label. Hands down to Team Group SD cards. I recently picked up a 10 pack of 128 gigs and they perform solid. Yes, they do. I didn't think anything about these. Thank you very much, Juan Sanchez. Um, you really want that Odin 2 tonight, don't you? <laughs> yes, that Odin 2 is going to one of you guys tonight. And yes, the Team Win Group or Team Group, I think it's Team Team, team Group. I, I always call it Team Win Group. I don't know why. Um, SD cards. I got a five pack of these too myself for a really good price. And I got, um, I think it was like a three pack or something like that of the 512 gigabyte ones. And I barely even filled like 200 gigs up. <laughs> so that's why I'm like 256 gigabytes is way more than enough. And you do have 120. I know it's only 128 gigabytes of internal storage on the actual device. But if you put that alongside this, put all your emulation on here and all your apps and games internally, then you're going to be having a lot of storage. Now, if you have like Warzone, Minecraft, I don't know, a whole bunch of big games on your internal storage, then it's going to fill up a lot faster and you will need to format your SD card to be an internal storage SD card. Whereas, you know, like the having this as just an emulation and then having the internal as your Android games, then that works out great. The dead pack was $67. Holy cow, that was cold water. Did you put more ice in this? Did you put more water? <laughs> Amazon USA. Yeah, Amazon USA is a lot cheaper than Canada, by the way, <laughs> in a sense. Um, I know you know that, Juan, but a lot of people say, hey, I got this for this much. And I'm like, well, I, I'm in Canada and I think we kind of get screwed over in Canada sometimes for things um, like you can buy a pre-hacked Nintendo Switch off AliExpress, for example, uh, shipped. I got it for 250 bucks last night. I, yeah, I've got a hacked Nintendo Switch coming, by the way. I'm going to share my thoughts about that if you if I think it's worth it and anybody that's live you do get to hear things sometimes when I talk about things that are coming up on the channel and um yeah I I'd sometimes spit out things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys <laughs> unless it's a secret thing like next week like I said next week you have to keep watch for my videos keep keep an eye out on my videos I know everybody's busy but if you want one of these bad enough, just keep an eye on Like, even if you're going to the bathroom, throw my video on and throw it on, on your sink or something and listen to it. Maybe you'll, you won't miss something. Or even when you're on your way to work, throw your headphones in or something and listen to it or throw it on your Bluetooth or throw it in whatever. Just listen to it. Even if you don't want to watch it, just listen to it in the background or something. And don't miss out on any of them because... The second Odin 2 giveaway is going to be a little bit different of a game, and I'm going to explain the game to you guys in a video, uh, but I've already done this already with one video that's coming out next week, and I'm not telling you which one it is, and I have a couple videos coming out next week, so uh, keep an eye out for that because you don't want to miss how to enter for the second one, unless you've already won tonight, of course, but yeah. 
67 bucks for a 10 pack of those is really really great i actually got these 128 gigabyte samsung cards they went on sale for uh 9.99 or whatever um what, was that like a prime i don't even know it was just like a random sale and i bought six of those myself because i was like that's a pretty good deal for 128 gigabyte micro sd card and for things like the retroid pocket 3 plus and the retroid pocket 4 128 gigabytes is a lot of memory or storage i mean for those devices because they do have 120 gigabytes inside and 128 uh, 28 gigabytes on the external sd card and as long as you don't have like 500 ps2 games which i highly recommend or highly doubt you do then yeah it's it's not gonna you know fill up really fast i got animal crossing edition 512 gigabytes for 50 dollars. then a store was closing down <laughs> jeez yeah 512 gigabyte cards sometimes are very expensive that's why like the team win group ones i think i paid like 30 dollars i think for something canadian just saying that these giveaways have really pushed me over the edge of lurking on this channel engaging more keep up the good work thanks max c sup dmg clan what's up ryan thank you for jumping in i haven't seen you uh around that much in a while i know even king trio is uh in here tonight as well um i noticed that you sometimes just comment on a bunch of stuff at the end of the week or something i've noticed that ryan uh ian mulligan sent a super sticker or a super i think that's a super sticker <laughs> it's a little uh dancing is that a pear <laughs> Thank you very much for the $2 donation. I have a one terabyte micro SD card in my Switch. Got it for $140. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, the one terabyte cards I have yet to buy. I don't know why. I don't think I've ever really thought about buying a one terabyte card. Like even in this thing right now, my um, Switch Lite, that's uh, my kids. I only have, I think I put the, yeah, I put a 256 gigabyte card in here and it's barely even touched. And I've installed quite a few games on it now for them too, like all of our games and everything. But um, $140, I'm assuming that's probably a Samsung Australian prices. That's crazy. I know Australian prices compared to SanDisk. Yeah, SanDisk is expensive too. It's just a little bit cheaper than Samsung, obviously, but pretty damn fast. Yeah, even I was going to do a video about comparing like these three brands right here. Or even, I guess, Samsung as well. You guys want to see that? Kind of a transfer speed. Like, I know there's tools and stuff like that to, to test that stuff out. And it all depends on the devices that you have as well. I'm just going to switch my headphone here. Um, it depends on the devices you have on your computer and stuff as well, right? So, if you have a fast USB-C charging port and stuff like that for transferring files... And everything then obviously it's going to transfer a little bit faster the very cool thing about the odin for example if you have this this is a crucial x8 one terabyte ssd this thing transfers files super super quick i've showcased this on the channel quite often and you can get these for like 80 bucks canadian what are you looking at oh, my tea i'm gonna go get more tea <laughs> um and they're very very good I like to have this thing with me at all times. I've even brought this with me when I go away and stuff. And I don't put all of my games on my micro SD card at one time usually. So having this, or even if I'm transferring to another SD card, for example, plug it into your AYN, keep your screen on. It makes sure your AYN is charged up to like 100% before you start doing this because it does kill the battery like 20% after you've uh, transferred all the files. But I've transferred about 300 gigabytes of data at one time from this one to my other S SD. And it, I think it maybe took like an hour or so total. And that's a lot of data for that fast of uh, an, an SSD. Um, it's just a tiny little thing. It's not that big, like it's smaller than the screen on a Nintendo Switch, so. I love this thing, it's lightweight, it has a little uh, USB-C to USB-C cord, and it does plug into your AYN, it plugs into other devices that will be able to transfer data, like I plug it into my phone sometimes, and I'll transfer data in and out um, from my phone. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so, 
I just had somebody that was messaging me on Facebook Marketplace because I was gonna buy something from them today. And then they said, the guy ghosted them. And I was like, well, I was legit. I was gonna buy it. <laughs> yeah, so everybody make sure to join the Discord server, keep the community growing and help each other out. Juan Sanchez really, really wants that uh, Odin 2, I think tonight. <laughs> so yeah, anybody that wants to join the Discord, jump over on the discord i do have discord if you want to become a patreon member you can become a patreon member the only downside to patreon memberships is that i don't share every video that i share with members on youtube but i'm trying to figure out a way to do that and i have shared a video recently with memberships or patreon members and youtube members and youtube members get other perks that patreon members don't get and my patreon memberships are a little bit more because I get less on Patreon or something and I give a little bit more on Patreon than I can't give on YouTube just because of certain reasons. So like I've shared things on Patreon um, about certain sites that you can navigate to for getting help with things when you're a noob, for example, that doesn't know how to get certain things. And I've shared sites for that, but I haven't told you how to specifically get them because obviously I don't want you to, I don't want to get in trouble in a sense because I have almost two decades of dumped video games and those were legally dumped video games. I'm not going to say I've gotten games other ways, obviously for whatever reason, but um, I have a friend and you all have the same friend. His name's Google, and Google is your best friend. And just don't click things that, I'm just telling you right now, don't click things that look weird. And then you won't have any viruses. And that's one big thing people say a lot to me too is, how do you avoid viruses? And it's like, well, just don't click things that look fishy. <laughs> and yeah, that's one big thing. So yeah, join the Discord. Thank you, Joan for reminding me about that and or become a member becoming a member helps the channel as well we are running i should actually mention that right now i shared a video <coughs> excuse me <coughs> about this this is the first members only odin 2 pro all in white i pull it out once i will pull it out again no pun intended for all those weirdos and <laughs> here it is i'm not going to take it out of the bag or anything but there's a sticker and everything the odin 2 pro there it is right there the white one that is going to one of the members members you can become a three dollar member which is just the base membership just to help the channel for three bucks become a member and after i reach 150 total members on either mix between patreon and youtube this will go to one of the members we'll run a live for members only it'll be a members only live i think we can do that i'm pretty positive we can do that and yes vim's lair is good as well uh quite gone i think i said your name right hopefully <laughs> um yes this thing is beautiful it's white now i'm gonna give the option as well whoever wins this if you want me to switch the buttons out to black and make it the reverse oreo It'll go to you. Shipping will be free of charge to the members, whoever wins membership wise at that point um, and everything. And that'll go to one of you guys when we reach 150 members. And right now, how many members do we have on the channel? Let me double check. I think we have six Patreon members right now. And that's pretty crazy too, because I just opened up the Patreon stuff recently and we have like 40 free members or something like that. Now, when it comes to memberships on the channel right now, we are looking at, um, what's the numbers here? We have 46 total members on YouTube, which is awesome. I appreciate everybody that becomes a member. I know that's a hundred members away. Well, if we do the math, we have six on Patreon and 46 here, that's 52 members. So we're about, yeah, we're still about 198 members away. 98 members at $3 a piece. If you want to become a base member, then we can just jump in and do the giveaway for the Odin 2 Pro. And the reason why I'm doing that, because memberships do help. And so do subscribers, so do views, so do liking, so does sharing, so does saying, hey, 
somebody in Discord, for example, has a question about something, grabbing my video, I know that's a part of sharing, but grabbing my video link and saying, hey, watch this guy's video. I've seen that a lot, which is cool, because I'm not always on Discord to say, hey, this is my video. I don't want to always feel like I'm spamming my videos either, because sometimes some Discord groups are like, hey, you can't spam, which is really annoying. <laughs> so um, I know I understand that best channel on the tube. <laughs> Which tube? <laughs> um, 10,100. We're at 11,100 gamers on the channel. 1,004? Analytics? 104. 1,104 gamers have joined. And ever since we went live tonight, we've had... I think we were at, what, 91 or something? Or 97, I think, when I went live tonight. I don't know. <laughs> it was something like that. We will get there. <laughs> yes, you did. I want that bind. <laughs> yeah, so how many members do you have right now? So yeah, I did mention that. Um, and Max C is actually the latest member on the channel. Welcome Max C to uh, the, I called it the, the Master Member Association. <laughs> I said, welcome to the Master Members Association. It's like I'm actually like building a real clan here or something. Nothing, don't worry, it's not some weird clan or anything. I'm back. Did I win yet? <laughs> Green Scout. <laughs> Green Scout has been commenting a lot about uh, being very, very uh, hopeful of winning. And I wish everybody luck. If I could give away an Odin to everybody that really wants one, then I, you know, I would. But you got to view my videos. Viewing does help the algorithm. Like there's 11,000 of you and... I should see 11,000 views on the channel. <laughs> Need to get like a desktop version of the mobile browser to become a member, FYI. Oh, really? Of the mobile browser to become a member? I thought you could just become a member on uh, the app. Unless, the yeah, you did it on the app too, yeah? Yeah, my, my wife became a member through the app. Unless I think, I don't know, I've, yeah, you've become, a, I've become, yeah, I'm a member for Mr. Sugiano myself. And hold on a second, let me power this down. So now I've copied this onto my computer, by the way. And now I gotta copy this to, where is it, right here. I have a little thumb drive, which is not the best thumb drive in the world. Thank you very much, Maxi. Yeah, so you should be able to do it through the app or through your YouTube subscriptions uh, section, but I also think you need to um, enable a something, I think, too, or what, what was it? How did you do it? You just went to my link and yeah, and uh, you were just able to join. Yeah, maybe that's why some people just join Patreon too, because it's harder for them to figure it out. I don't know. Yeah. Is that what he said? It was iOS? Oh, maybe it is iOS then. Okay. Maybe iOS is different because we have, we have Android devices ourselves. So, and I could become a member from here. I'm in the USA. You could, or are you going to? <laughs> Ian Mulligan. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay. That's probably why then. Yeah. Um, it only works on Android. Also, no, I'm on Android. Weird. I'm in Seattle and had to look up how to join a membership from the youtube app oh that's weird <laughs> that is kind of strange maybe you should switch to android then <laughs> um well if you win the odin 2 you'll have an android and then you can become a member twice if you wanted to <laughs> yeah you could still probably like, even you can go to a mobile you can go to youtube mobile on your phone as well right so um that that's another thing and don't forget we have we're just shy of 40 minutes left tonight before we run the Odin 2 base model giveaway. This is going to one of you guys, 256 gigabyte micro SD card. The AYN Odin 2 is going to one of you. If you missed out, if you just jumped in, if you missed out on any entries, throw me a super thing, throw me a super chat, throw me a, throw me a super thicker. I can't talk tonight. <laughs> I had a lift there for a sec and I didn't mean to. Um, I don't know. My, my mouth just went dry. Um, yeah. <laughs> super chat, super stickers, super thanks. One dollar equals one entry for the giveaway tonight. My wife is in the background. Sold my dumb iPhone. I haven't had an iPhone since iPhone 4, by the way. Um, 
I used to repair a lot of iPhone 6s. <laughs> a lot of people uh, wanted me to fix their their iPhone 6s back in the day. I used to make a killing on iPhone 6 screens. And yeah, iPhone 6 screens were easy to do. iPhone 6 and 6s. And the 5s were okay to do. The 4s were hard and the 3s were hard. Um, the 3s is where I started doing my, my iPhone stuff. I used to jailbreak iPhones for people as well. And I stopped doing that because I didn't like a device that I had to like fully, fully mess around with. I can get out of this menu too, um, to actually unlock it. That was kind of the most annoying thing about it. it was a bit hard to use in the past, but now I can just go back. Yeah, like my, my wife switched from iPhone to Android and she didn't have a choice. <laughs> she likes it though, I think. Do you like your, your your Android now after five years? Yeah, she likes Android. <laughs> I'm late. Uh-oh. You're late. That's not good. <laughs> I'm sick of trying to code in Swift and I might be ready to explore Android app development a little. Um, yeah, Swift. So I bought a Mac, I don't know, like four years ago or something like that. When I was starting to... Uh, do a little bit heavier coding for android so it's been like almost a, like seven eight years now that i started doing android and that was all me self teaching myself how to do all that kind of stuff and wait you're giving away an odin 2 yes i am <laughs> yes i am matt's craft the odin 2 giveaway is tonight the very first one out of the five that i'm giving away for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway <laughs> And yes, this is going back to one of you guys. There is already a bunch of people that have entered for this. A bunch of gamers have entered by commenting on videos like I've asked them to. There's five, there's four more going away. Well, technically five. One is going to members only. And this one is going back to one of you guys tonight. And if you want to gain an entry tonight, send a super thanks before 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. A super sticker, super thanks, super chat. One dollar equals one get one entry for the giveaway and that'll be ran live tonight too on the channel using random.org what i've been using every time i've ran this giveaway and you could win this odin too and this is to celebrate 10,000 subscribers plus i did a little bit of a game with it and last month we gained 3,000 subscribers and it was crazy i didn't think we would make it to 10,000 this early it was like was it april 1st that we like it was just shy of april 1st or something i don't remember what day it was but it was like shy of april 1st and we were at 10,000. right now we're at 11,105 subscribers on the channel the last 42 hours 32,614 views and views views do help they do view they do help a lot watching the videos all the way through helps a lot and i know you guys don't see that side of things and even if it's not relevant to you just throw it on in the background you don't want to miss out on the videos that are coming up in the next little while because i'm a college student without money i rather also sold my ps vita and my wii hope and luck on this side today my wi-fi bugged out how do i enter so how to enter in the future subscribe to the channel Keep an eye out on videos because I give you free entries as well. So you can just comment on videos that I say to comment on. Um, I'm going to be releasing a video on how to get the second one. There's going to be a second one going out uh, out of the five as well. Well, six, there's six. There's one that's for members and then there's the five base ones. And a lot of people commented on the videos. The first video, like the giveaways that I ran, I had multiple videos and posts and stuff like that and we had four total for this time around that you could comment uh certain things so there was one video you had to specifically comment dmg clan so make sure you listen to my videos because i'll say hey certain things don't say this in the comments say this and that'll be your entry because the commenting picker tool will pick up on that it'll it's just like a game it's just a game that you guys are gonna be playing that i'm making up as i go along with it and yeah so i'm just making this up as i go along kind of thing but i already have the second game in mind i have a third game in mind as well but i don't know if that's gonna be too hard or not but 
I want the game to be a little bit harder as I go along because the fifth and fourth one are going to be the ones that you really want to chase. Now, the fifth one I've already told you about, which is the PlayStation style one with the PlayStation buttons. That's the very last one. And yeah, that'll be the very last one. I'm going to tell you that. Well, you're not too late if you want to join in for the second one. I know tonight's you're a little bit late for if, uh, you know, it's, it is, you know, maybe somebody else wants to donate for you. Maybe somebody else wants to send a dollar for you to gain an entry. Maybe not because everybody wants to get this thing, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, all the base models you do get. I didn't mention that before. You do get a 256 gigabyte micro SD card to go alongside it with the team group. And um, yes, so that that'll go to you with the base model. There's not going to be any cases or anything like that. You have the charging cable and all that kind of stuff in there. And that'll be shipped out to you as well. Um, now, shipping, I did mention this. Um, North America, excuse me, uh, North America is going to be free. If anybody lives out east, you need to email me because we need to talk about shipping out east because the second Odin 2, we had an issue. And the one that... Um, was the bonus one that I gave away. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it again, but I tried to offer the guy money and everything and whatever. And he just, he's like, don't worry about it. I've always have issues with getting stuff, I guess, is what he said in the end. So that kind of sucked and it came back. So yeah, so I'm not going to go there, but yeah, we will have to talk over email. Whoever wins, you have to email me within five business or five days, not five business days, just five days. I will announce who wins um, next morning, tomorrow morning on the channel. I'm sure others will comment and say, hey, congratulations, so-and-so. A lot of people do that as well. And I don't expect anyone to donate for me. I just have a chance. I feel so bad. Well, Matt Crafts, just subscribe to the channel. Keep an eye out for next week's video. There's gonna be a video that's mixed in. Maybe there's gonna be two videos that are mixed in next week where you can gain an entry into the next Odin 2 giveaway. And I do keep track of all this stuff. We've already, I've already got all the names down. Um, my wife is collecting all the names from any super chats, super thanks, super stickers from tonight in the chat because quite a few of you, uh oh, where did my chat go? There it is. Oh, my game was actually transferring over. It's finally transferred to the make switch card, by the way, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's what we've been doing this whole time. I've been just transferring files and stuff. I dumped my snow day game. And uh, yeah, so just subscribe, hang out, chill out, talk to other people, jump in Discord. Like I said, I do like to talk in Discord. I talked to Juan quite a bit in Discord. Um, or John, I think it's John. John, you, you gotta correct me if I'm saying your name right, wrong. Um, yeah, so I got my game, this game dumped. Put in here. Now let's see if we can, well actually I'm not gonna use my hack one because then you guys might think I'm doing something weird. Uh, probably not, but <laughs> this is my non-hack Nintendo Switch. And let's put it in here. Now I do have it on airplane mode. Um, just for the sake of my, my mind, because at this time I'm not really sure what they can find i know you can go online with games as long as you have the games that are owned and there's self park right there so let's load it up i'm just gonna go start software i will send you a voice message uh oh i'm saying your name wrong is it john john <laughs> i thought i was saying your name right this whole time <laughs> i try to pronounce pronounce names right i just i don't know I used to work, I worked at a call center for like four years and I used to try to pronounce people's names on there and I just, I don't know, I never knew if I was actually saying their names right sometimes and I just kept rolling with it, so. <laughs> but yeah, there's the game loaded up and that's the big thing, right? The big thing about this card that's going to be sketchy is when people start sharing their certificates and their IDs and stuff like that. Now... I'm going to be keeping these games. I'm not planning on selling these to anybody or anything like that because now I have them dumped onto this card and I think it would be a little bit scummy to do that. Now, some people might do that. 
and some people have done that like people on aliexpress for example and i'm not gonna you know go there because i don't want to ruin anything for anybody that buys these and asks aliexpress people for certain things but um i'm sure that'll get shut down as quick as it goes up too so call center clan <laughs> let's see if i can stay awake in the uk we got 30 more minutes 29 more minutes before the giveaway starts and everything so 29 more minutes question can you play online with pico fly with legit games now i have not tried that um i know there's a way to do it uh, i watched actually a guide i do watch guides myself obviously um when it comes to certain things sometimes like i hacked the wii u a couple weeks ago and i read a guide we hacked the wii u live on the channel and it's not something i came up with i like to share how to do things that they seem like they're super hard to do and things that are new to people where that written guide for like the 3ds for example hacking your 3ds it's a written guide more voice message sent okay i'm not gonna listen to it right now but i'll listen to it after for the switch had two versions and the original one was removed from the eShop. are you talking about uh are you talking about this one right here this one minecraft nintendo switch edition that they removed for no apparent reason i don't know why they removed it like I understand because of the new one, but why remove the best game? I think I like I like the console versions of the games myself, and yeah, they did remove that, and that's why I have it on that Nintendo Switch now. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the best. I think that's the best Minecraft edition. I started on the Xbox 360, but that was. 10 years ago now over 10 years ago <laughs> it was way better in my opinion yeah even the last update was great and that's one thing that kind of sucks about the mig switch card for example you can't put the nsp games on there yet or anything like that um because well at least yet unless somebody tries to reverse engineer it but as you can see like i'm in the game i'm playing the game i don't know what's going on i'm actually going to play this later not tonight probably tomorrow but um i'm just letting it play on the <laughs> down below so you guys can watch it i don't want any swearing on this right now so i'm pretty sure there's gonna be swearing yes these joy cons everybody likes these things tonight i have not really like i did a video review about this and my wife shared a link for this and that was like early on in my channel and it didn't take off that well like it was a video that kind of took off but a lot of people like these and they're very very nice like i never have gone back to the joy cons now some people like the joy cons with the hall sticks and everything and even juan or john hopefully i say your name right now um he showed me a really cool set of joy cons that he modified for his oled now i think the oled joy cons have changed a little bit i'm not too sure though i haven't i don't own a oh there it is right there so there you go there you go john vango go watch that youtube video that was just linked <laughs> um if you want to you know check out these these uh bin box controllers i should be updating my links for these actually i don't think i have affiliate links on that video right now because um that's another big thing becoming a, like if you buy something through good man no cussing <laughs> yeah the south park games have a lot of swearing um like fractured butthole that was a game <laughs> the fractured butthole <laughs> um yeah i don't know i had those bin box clears but my right stick broke yeah the my kids have played on this for the last couple of years and they're a little bit loud i'll say that but you can get rubbers that'll go around <laughs> you get rubbers that go around the plastic right here on the joysticks and i'm sure if you wanted to open it up and change these out you could but they they are kind of loud i don't know if they're they might have gotten better by now i'm not too sure but i've had these for almost a couple of years now and my kids have played on them they this thing's been kind of thrown around sitting on a couch the only thing that's ever gotten damaged on this is i lost this thing once and i had to buy a new one because it covers up the the micro sd card and i don't want my kids knowing that that's under there but yeah, so this hopefully, hopefully my serial number on the back doesn't get shown on the back there. I don't know. 
Hopefully that doesn't happen. Anyways, <laughs> man, I'm late to the live. You're not too late. You got 25 minutes, 24 minutes. My brother has those Joy-Cons. They feel great to hold. They definitely do. They're really solid too. Um, I really like these. And if you want to get a set of Joy-Cons, I would highly recommend like the, the Nixie brand Joy-Cons as well. Um, they are true Joy-Cons too, like these ones are. And I haven't owned the ones that look like these. Now, Nixie has uh, the ones that I have from Nixie that they sent me are the GameCube style ones, which are really, really cool. And I really like the GameCube controller. I did a mod. It was like a couple of weeks, like a month ago. I think it's in that bin over there. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to leave it. It's up there in that bucket where those cookies are. <laughs> just leave it don't worry about it but i did a modification of the the original uh gamecube controller and it looked really good that was from extreme rate extreme rate i bought parts from amazon and here it is right here this thing thank you <laughs> this thing turned out really really cool and this is the original GameCube controller. It was the original GameCube, like Nintendo branded one. And feels legit. The plastic feels good. The buttons look really, really good. And like the only thing that feels a little bit different, obviously, because it's newer plastic and stuff, is the C stick and the joystick. But they still feel good. Like they feel great and everything feels great in the hands. And it was really, really easy to put together. If you want to ever modify anything and you're new to stuff like that, just take apart your controller, your Xbox controller. Even if you don't tear it all the way down, just take the back off, look inside it and give it a go and buy yourself a little toolkit from Amazon. Like the one that I always share on the channel. I love taking stuff apart and putting it back together is this little toolkit right here. And should we plug this on our Amazon affiliates? I don't know, <laughs> but this little toolkit has a whole bunch of bits in it has a whole bunch of other stuff now a lot of my other stuff is kind of not in here anymore it's all thrown in my drawer but all my bits they always go back in here except for my phillips is in there and i lost my other zero phillips i don't know where the heck it went and my 2.3 tri wing or y whatever you want to call it y wing bit but this thing has been a really big lifesaver when it comes to any tools and it comes with a little like magnetized mat and stuff and my rubber mats on the floor so i'm not going to touch that right now but yeah <laughs> not too late though so yeah not too late am i late scully gd not yet no 9 30 p.m eastern time is when we're running this giveaway for the odin 2 if you want to gain an entry into the giveaway tonight and you missed any of the free entries send a super sticker send a super chat send a super thanks Send a question, super like question inside the chat as well. One dollar equals one entry for the giveaway tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And there will be a second giveaway, obviously, because there's five of them. Showed my dad the kit and he bought one. He liked it a lot. Yes, I think you told me about that, actually. And yeah, Scully GD, you didn't miss anything yet, but we just did talk about the mix switch. We've been just kind of hanging out tonight. Just drinking tea, eating cookies and chocolate. We had some space cookies tonight with some Pop Rocks in them and we had Popeye's chicken. Not on the channel. We just... <laughs> I don't know, a lot of people like food, right? Do you guys like food? Throw some DMG clans and hearts and stuff in here if you like food. <laughs> yeah, they, they are really great though. Like a lot of people, I think it's funny how everybody keeps coming in. I like those Joy-Cons. Um, yeah, I'm not going to set up my character right now because I actually am going to set up the character and everything. But from my experience, I was playing on the MIG Switch. <laughs> What's playing South Park? <laughs> yeah, so I'm not playing any games right now. Maybe maybe I will. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll dress my guy up. I know I can't really hear the game, but I'll dress him up. And uh, I haven't played a lot of this because I played it on um, alternative methods. <laughs> already um let's let's set up yeah that's that's what i'm gonna wear as the hat and i'm 
give him a mohawk, even though we can't see his hair anyways, or a faux hawk. Star cape. Can we give him some facial hair? Oh yeah, facial hair right here. Give him a goatee. <laughs> Can we change his color, or his skin tone and everything too? Oh, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm. 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 I'm kind of white. There we go. <laughs> uh, sunglasses. Let's throw some aviators on this boy. And this is Snow Day. Snow Day, the new one that just came out. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that's the new one that just came out. And I got it today. And we are running this on the Mig Flish Flash Flark. That's what I'm going to call it. Oh, the new one. Yes, Flux. <laughs> hey, your name is Flux. I got some Flux. Look. Flux. Soldering Flux. For soldering. <laughs> yeah, South Park Snow Day. Yeah, so anyone try those freeze dries candies? They are right, but way overhyped. I do not like those. We got those, was it last year for like the fair or something? Yeah, we got them at a fair last year. They weren't good. <laughs> I like food, but never had Popeyes. Yeah, we, um, there we go. DMG clan, you guys all like food. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I love cookies. <laughs> cookies and milk. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not really playing right now, but maybe, maybe I will play a little bit for, for the sake of showcasing it, because we do have about 15 more minutes. Anybody that's jumping in, I don't know how many are in here tonight. Have you noticed that? How many? Thirty-one. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah. It's cool to see how many jump in on the lives because of how many subscribers are on the channel, and then how many actually are able to jump in. I know a lot of you are in different time zones and stuff too. So uh we had somebody earlier that was saying that it was like 2 a.m in the morning so they weren't going to be able to actually uh, <laughs> be able to stay in there because it was really really late and i understand but you'll see this tomorrow you'll see it in the future it goes live and you'll be able to actually you know watch this and stuff so for the paper galore i can't actually even hear the game i should probably turn it up a little bit so i can hear it but I would plug this in so you guys could hear it, but I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> I don't want you guys to be able to hear this. This is my first live. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you in here before, the duck. Why is your game cart slot open? Is it... Sorry, there you go. <laughs> it's bothering me. Sorry. So the reason why I had that open was because I was using the make switch flash slash flart and use B to jump. Okay. There we go. Figured it out. Oh, we can jump. I was wondering why I couldn't jump before. I know sometimes uh, certain things bug me too <laughs> when it comes to that kind of stuff. So we're trading toilet paper. That's currency in this game. That's pretty fun. Uh, why to attack? I, I love South Park. I haven't watched South Park in so long because I have kids now and I don't really watch a lot of um, stuff that has swearing in it. And I even like, I put Simpsons on sometimes. And I feel like newer Simpsons is a little bit morbid sometimes. I know that's not South Park, but Simpsons and uh, Family Guy. Family Guy is the worst, I think. <laughs> newer Family Guy. I haven't watched Family Guy probably since like season 19 or 20. Just because, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You kind of fade away from things when you get older about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Behold the power. Fart yourself up to safety and gross out the enemies in your wake. Press A while hovering over your card to take it. Okay. <laughs> Press L to fart escape. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. So yeah, I think 30 bucks for this game too. Like that's that's a pretty good a pretty good price. Now the last South Park game I got was, it wasn't, I didn't get the Fractured Butthole, but I got the one that was on Xbox 360, I think, or Xbox One. I can't remember which, what game it was. I can't even remember the name of it now. 
but I played a lot of it and it was a good game at the time. My buddy and I, uh, Curtis, the one that jumps in here every once in a while, played it. I like some recent South Park movies, but it's definitely something to watch after the kids are in bed. The post COVID movie. I haven't even seen that yet. I really wanted to watch that too. <laughs> um, yeah, that was not something I, I had the opportunity to watch. <laughs> My wife doesn't like South Park either. <laughs> she thinks it's annoying. Yeah. I, I get it though. I I remember when I was younger having to stay up super late to sneak watching South Park on my lore TV <laughs> after eleven o'clock. And yeah, that was that was good times back then. <laughs> I like the concept of this game too. The graphics, I don't know. The graphics are Nintendo Switch graphics, but I guess this game came out on a few other things too, right? So the reason why I bought this one was just because it was cheap and... Now I'm, now I'm in the game. Now I'm in the zone. <laughs> so we have 13 more minutes, right? 13 more minutes? Yeah, 13 more minutes. The Odin 2 is going to one of you. Juan Sanchez has sent quite a few super chats tonight and reminded me to remind you guys about Discord, remind you guys about memberships. Uh, don't forget to become a member if you want to not miss out on any giveaways in the future as well. Uh, members get entries no matter what um, into the giveaways. Each membership tier is based on five mem or five entry intervals. So if you're a base member, you get five. If you're a gamer member, you get 10. If you're a master member, you get 15 entries. And that way you don't have to worry about missing out. So like if you weren't in this live tonight, for example, and you were a member and you couldn't make it into the live tonight, at least you still have those entries no matter what. And that's into any and all giveaways. That being said, if you already won an Odin 2, for example, then you won't be into this 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 uh, giveaway, uh, of course. So like King Trio already won one, so he's taken out of this. So that I, I give the chance for you guys to win another Odin 2. And that's only for the same item. So like if I was giving away a Nintendo Switch and you already won a Nintendo Switch for me or something, then you won't be able to win again. You'll just win once kind of thing. So that's how I'm doing it. That's for everybody too, uh, of course. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just got noted to a couple days ago. Master member, master member, Ryan. Yeah, you are a master member. John could have bought the Odin 2 by now. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> now, <laughs> maybe he just wants a second one. <laughs> um yeah he probably could have he did donate quite a bit on the one live and he has been a master member and him and i do talk quite a bit now on uh on discord and he's pretty cool and like i said i i do talk to a few others too on discord and i try to get back to you guys when i can on discord and even on questions on um, YouTube and stuff. So like if you have a question about something that I didn't already answer or something, sometimes I just send you a link to a video and say, hey, watch this or something. Uh, don't take it, you know, personal. It's just me saying, hey, this is probably the best way rather than me typing out like 50 paragraph essay about how to do something when I already have a video about it, right? So, and as some people say on Discord, this guy has a video for almost everything, which I think I do at this point and have a video for a lot of things. Now, I'm not like a huge, I'm gonna buy every device out there reviewer or anything like some people are um, because I look at certain devices. I look at the specs and performance and stuff like that. What's up with that six month master membership bonus? Yes, you will get a six month master membership gift sent to you via the mail and I will do a post about, hey, you need to comment, uh, or not comment, send me an email um, where I'm shipping your item to because obviously it's gonna be shipped to you via the mail. And I'm still waiting on a couple things to arrive. I am gonna be putting together uh, different packages for different membership tiers. 
Now, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing here, by the way. I'm just kind of talking and playing at the same time. That's sometimes why I think playing video games and <laughs> doing stuff like this isn't really... Uh... No, I didn't die. I just, I'm supposed to be following this guy's tutorial. I'm not paying attention. I won an Odin 2 Pro. You won? You won an Odin 2 Pro. Can you win an Odin 2 and an Odin 2 Pro? So... If you win the base model tonight, John, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I haven't listened to your voice message yet. Then no, you won't be able to win another Odin 2. I, I get what you mean there, but if you won this Odin 2 base model and you didn't want it, you could say, hey, give it to the next guy or something if you, if you want to. But yeah, so <laughs> you wouldn't be able to win another one. Um... But like you could win, like if you won Odin 2 tonight and I was giving away something else in the future, like a controller or something like that, you could win that. And that's part of the giveaways. I just want to make sure that the five Odin 2s, well now the seven that, or seven or eight, I guess. So the two before the five plus the one that's going away to members only. Um, so that's eight Odins altogether. Do get out to as many people as possible. And I know there's 11,000 of you on the channel, but you'd be surprised to see how many comments are were on some of the videos, how many weren't on some of the videos that I thought would have been on some of the videos, like entry wise. And of course you only got one entry per comment on these videos. Like one of the videos only had 50 comments on it. And that was one of the shorts about the Odin 2 giveaway. I'm gonna pause the game. Um, and yeah, it was just kind of crazy. Is the giveaway done? No, 9.30 o'clock. 9.30 o'clock. 9.30 p.m. is when we're running this. It is not done yet. So I am going to be running that right at 9.30. I'm waiting right till the last minute. And you still have time to get your bonus entries in if you want to. Send a super thanks. Send a super chat if you want to. If you've just jumped in. And if you don't want to and you've already entered and you're already a master member you've already entered into the giveaway i've already got all of the memberships written out i've already got everything written out ready to go so it's not going to take an hour this time like the one like last giveaway we did it in under like 15 minutes right so um i really appreciate everybody that came in tonight and has come to the channel we're sitting at 1000 106 gamers wait no 11,106 gamers on the channel as of right now <laughs> i just read it as 1,000 i just lost 10,000 subscribers overnight so this is the number 11,106 and i feel like a thousand subscribers just like climbed really fast again and then it kind of like now we were at, I think I just gained 100 subscribers today, I think, or something, which is crazy. And it's interesting to see this side of stuff. It really is. Like, it is fun and interesting to do this stuff and see it. And I do share some things like this with uh, Juan. Uh, John, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Be okay. We break something. Can we make it to 11,111 before the end of this? live tonight we have five more minutes so yeah basically what i did here tonight is i was playing south park and let me follow the rest of this tutorial while i talk or try to play press r to do the healing post okay um yeah so basically we're not running the giveaway until 9 30 which is about five minutes from now and thank you very much everybody for joining in on the dmg clan or becoming the dmg clan subscriber member gamer and yes i like to give back and that's why i'm giving back after six months as well uh to those that actually want to receive the item they have to reach out to me and that is based on your tier level so if you i've already explained this in my introduction video about becoming a master member or becoming a uh, gamer member or a base member um, you have to stay at that level for six months to get that membership. Now, if you upgrade and already receive that uh, free gift after six months, then you, you don't get that, obviously. That's just, you know, something that I'm doing specially for you guys. 
if you want to upgrade after getting the gift or whatever anyways just to support then you can that is something that you know oh you're don't exit out of my youtube the youtube video though is that all of tonight's yeah so is the odin 2 the base model so yes this one is the base model and they all are the base models except for the one that uh is going to members only <clears throat> and the members only one is a pro model now that's why i'm giving away the base model is because i think the base model is way more than good enough i've done a video about explaining how, why i think this and the fact that the base model is way more than enough especially for a lot of emulation uh including even nintendo switch emulation if you want to use it for that and nintendo switch emulation i've proved its worth even when it came to playing nintendo switch um tears of the kingdom it took about 50 minutes before the game crashed but it crashed because it might have been just because i forgot to put the swap on uh the ram swap but the base model again like i said for android gaming emulation ps2 you, you the big thing about the odin 2 is that processor eight gigabytes of ram what you're going to get benefit wise out of the 12 gigabytes of ram is yes maybe a better performance or better longer performance when it comes to nintendo switch emulation but i didn't buy this thing expecting to replace my nintendo switch with it and i don't think anybody should think to replace their nintendo switch with it if they have a nintendo switch now there are a lot of games that are very playable and very very playable to the point where if you only have like a handful of games that you want to play and i've you know kind of shared some of these games before um there's this game i haven't been able to play it very well on on my odin because you guys know nintendo switch emulation has halted but yeah so we won't be here for long whoever wins good for you <laughs> there's no word i win this i've learned i think juan pronounce like wand with the d juand at the end is that right <laughs> so yeah um it's really an awesome powerhouse device and i do have a sort of re-review video coming that i've been thinking about putting together because i want the word to get out there about this device uh just because it is such an awesome handheld and not a lot of people know about the android handheld scene still either and it's not even just for emulation right so like there's a lot of games like modern warfare for example or not modern warfare um warzone for example and uh playing games like uh natively playing um grand theft auto like the the remake of grand theft auto or even final fantasy android ports and stuff there's even the awesome um zelda ocarina of time um i forget what it's called ship of something uh remake or or port it's a port kind of patch or whatever for the game so odin 2 base model yeah like the odin 2 base model is great you just have to have a good chance as everyone else <laughs> yeah so some people have better have more of a chance because they have more entries maybe but you never know you never know if you're gonna win you don't want to think that way you you could have one entry and i didn't put those ones now um you're gonna put those in there now i just didn't and the only ones that i didn't do was the make switch video bonus entries yeah my wife is uh gathering all of the entries right now because it is 9 30. she's grabbing all the names and everything and i'm gonna drag that over onto the screen in a few seconds here when we have all of those in it is giveaway time i'm still playing because she's just getting all your names ready and then i'm gonna open up random.org <coughs> and then i'm gonna show you something quick i know i keep coughing it's just because of the way i'm slouching tonight and yeah i cannot wait to see who wins these because i do think you guys will love this and i know you will love this thing a lot of people love theirs and it is a really awesome powerful handheld now i'm gonna tell you i have opened all of them up to make sure that everything works they do look fine i checked the screens and everything and i updated it the last update that's on this one right now is 278 um i made sure of all that because i wanted to make sure that nothing was wrong with it 
before I sent it out to you. Not that there I had any issues with mine or anything, but I had one person message me on Discord saying that they had um, a dead pixel or something on theirs once, and I never had that issue. But AYN is really good um, at replacing things, and you should be fine with this. Like, it's nothing. There's nothing wrong with any of these. They're brand new. I checked out the screens. I checked out the you know the device and everything. Made sure that everything worked, and it is at the late. Well, 278 is the late. 288 is the latest, but 278 is on this one right now. So, because they aren't sealed. When you get these from AYN, they just come like this. You, you can open them up and they're ready to go. So, and I like to advertise that I'm giving this away to somebody. <laughs> I love South Park. The game looks really fun. It's giveaway time. Yeah. So, I can't wait to actually play through this whole game. If there wasn't a lot of swearing on it, I probably would play it on the channel, but I don't think my channel is going to... I don't want to put swearing on my channel right now. Um, return to... Now, is there a way to save this? I think it just automatically saves, to be honest. So, this was the Make Flash Flash Flart. And now, if I take that out and plug this in, with all those game files on it, I don't need to download anything. Start software. Now, if I go to my account, will it just load that game save? It should because the game save saves to the actual internals, right? So, hey, I just joined. When will the official giveaway start? Because I'm kind of busy currently and wanted to join in with the real giveaway starts. Um, Are you all done almost? Almost, okay. Did I have any points from the previous giveaway? <laughs> So that was only for that one giveaway, Juan, um, for the bonus one that I did that for. So any points for the previous giveaways are basically void as of tonight. Um, now you copied all 50 of those and everything tonight too and everything. Like the ones from the live. Like, well, 65, yeah. <laughs> So no, um, no entries from previous giveaways for this round at least. Now, I did think about that for the five Odin giveaways. And I will talk about that with my wife. <laughs> I probably am not even entered in this one. Last you, I, so that's the big thing that I was, oh, you need the mouse, sorry. I was moving around. That's the big thing. So yeah, as you can see, we are still at the save point that we played on the make switch. So it does work that way. Um, make sure you pay attention to all my videos. Make sure you comment on videos that I say, hey, there's an entry. Comment on every video. Like every video. Watch every video. I should see the music slaps. <laughs> I should see 11,000 views on all of my videos, but I don't. I don't see that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so reply to your post two weeks ago about how to enter the giveaway. I will double check to make sure I have your name in there, but I'm pretty sure I do. I went through all of the posts. You're ready to go, you're good, yeah. So we got all of the entries gathered up. I'm gonna look at this for a second. And now, Raphael, your name might be different on here as it is on YouTube, but there was a post about the giveaway. Yes, I went through the post. These are all the names for just tonight, right? Or is this just the members? Victor? Oh, okay. So those are the members only. Like this was just the members. Where there's that space. Right here? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Right. And... It's from tonight. Make switch video. Okay, so these are members. I'm just opening up the notepad, and I'm gonna show you guys my screen. So open. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this all with you guys. I'm gonna have the chat. On one side here, I'm gonna have the notepad on the other. And 
Go to channel. I'm going to look up your name. I'm not looking up everybody's names. I went through and made sure. So if I go and look at display capture. Oops. Control F V. There's your name right there, Raphael. I think that's your name. <laughs> So that's your YouTube handle. That's everybody has a different YouTube handle name as well, by the way. So YouTube handle and your name is different than your actual YouTube name. So my YouTube handle, I think is the same name as my YouTube name. I'm pretty sure, but we're going to go through this together. So the post about the entry, this was the post about the entry. I had to manually go through this and actually check everybody's names and there's your name right there from that post that was a post that i got excited about to share with you guys that hey the odin 2 i am not checking everybody's names quigon i have i'm not going through everybody's names for this because there are so many different names i will look at yours quick master quigon i'll double check that but i'm pretty positive i have everybody's names in there i use a tool called the the commenting picking tool there's your name right there, Master Quigon. Don't worry, I have everybody's names. <laughs> I've spent a lot of uh, hours, not a lot of hours, but I spent a lot of time uh, working on this. Like I went through everybody's usernames and I don't know if your name's in here. I don't know. There you are right there. See, like Exus Flow Green, I have you in there too. Good luck all. Alex13 mod, thank you for the donation. The donations have been closed off, but I will put that in there. I will put $2 in there or two entries in there for you. Alex13 mod, thank you very much for the donate donation or the, the support. <laughs> I say donation, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna go through Alex13 mod. Let me see. I'll double check yours. I'm not going through 50 different names because I have a whole bunch of names on here and your name's not in here probably because you probably didn't comment on anything, um, but your name's going to be in here now for two entries from, um, from tonight. So like I said, if you guys commented on the videos, the videos that I said to comment on, I'm going to go through them with you right now. There was a post. I have the YouTube link right here. There was a post about the giveaway entries. This was an extra post or a bonus for the giveaway. And this was basically me getting excited about, hey, my the first Odin 2s showed up, here they are. And a whole bunch of you commented on them. There they are right there. There was a video about the Odin 2 giveaway. You were supposed to comment only DMG Clan on that video. I still gave you an entry even if you said DMG Clan and then said something else because the YouTube comment picker tool Pick that up. So, picking must be tough for you, maybe not. <laughs> Juan Sanchez, yes you are. How much chance would I have to win? So, Alex13mod, I am gonna put your name in there, so don't worry about that. You will have your name in there tonight because you did get those two entries or the, you did send a $2 uh, entry for that, but your name for the actual giveaway, I didn't, I just searched your name, um, even Alex13. And it doesn't look like you commented on any of those videos or any of those posts according to the commenting picking tool. Um, I go through and I check the comments to make sure they kind of match up with... Huh? Yeah, Cracker Jack, you're there. Don't worry, I've checked your name. <laughs> like, yeah, you guys don't worry about all that. If anything, like Cracker Jack, you commented tonight this is not just take a second to listen there's your name right there you were on a post i guess i think you commented on the post yeah you commented on the post so there's your your extra entry for that post let me take a drink and you had tonight's extra entries as well for the the donations <laughs> or the give it or the super chats or whatever whatever the super sticker right is that what it was But what I'm going through right now, just to show you guys, sorry, this water is really cold. Um, is the videos that you were able to comment on, the posts that you're able to comment on. And I closed 
three of these videos and the posts. Um, I closed the post today, actually, around uh, noon today, because I kind of forgot about the post, and then I went back to my notes, and I saw it in my notes, and I was like, oh yeah, the post I have to go through, and I had to manually do the post and erase um, certain like replies and messages and stuff because I had my replies in there and stuff as well. So we have the video about the Odin 2 giveaway. You had to comment only DMG clan on. And if you didn't, if you commented something else, then sorry, that was the rules of that part of the game. Now, there is a whole bunch of comments on that as well. Look at all the comments on that. And there is a lot of names in here. Now, there was a short about the giveaway. Only 32 ish of you commented on that short. That's why I say you have to pay attention to the videos. These are all free entries for the giveaway. I'm, I'll just, yeah, I'll go through it after and do it. It's fine. And then, because there's only four things anyways. So then there was the bonus video from the MIG Switch the other day. This was a bonus entry for you guys to comment, whatever you wanted to comment on it. And there was, I think about 100 and something like that. I think there wasn't even that much, actually. I think there was like 100 or something like that in here. And that was just a bonus. Now... These were the super thanks from the giveaway video. Now, these were super thanks from the giveaway video that I was talking about the giveaway. So these were all the entries from that. And then the super chat entries from the make switch video were gathered tonight uh, for my wife, which are. These are all the members. These were them, right? Plus the tonight's right. Yes, so these right here, these are the Super Chat thanks stickers from the chat tonight, the live chat. Plus, there was four of you that donated, was it four? Three? Three that donated on the video from the MIG Switch. Thank you very much, everybody, for that. That is all of your extra entries as well. So I'm gonna gather everything specifically would you be interested in doing emulation on Legion Lenovo Go? I don't own a Legion Lenovo Go, unless you're going to give me one. <laughs> um, I'll wait for the next giveaway. So, Zen, um, I'm pretty sure I saw your name in there. I thought I did. I, I recognize a lot of names. Like I said, I'm not going through <clears throat> everybody's name. But Zen, Zen, you got a you got an entry in there. Zen dot Bason, Bason. So that's the thing. Like your handle name is different. You guys have to understand that your handle name is different than your name that I see on the chat and everybody else sees in the chat. So regardless of how this goes, thanks for engaging with the community in this way. It gets people excited for this hobby, so it helps grow the community. And yeah, I know I really I know it does. I I um, appreciate everybody that has joined the channel. That's why I'm doing this. I'm giving back to you guys for free the the odin 2 base model you guys know how much this thing costs and i think it's a great to actually have um type in all of videos dmg clan in different methods <laughs> yeah i noticed that i think people got confused about that because everybody was chat like doing dmg clan on and i don't care you can do that too if you want to if you want to just comment on like 50 different videos dmg clan go ahead but that part that one video was specific to uh to that video only and yes alex 13 i'm gonna grab your name here before i forget copy and i'm gonna paste it tonight here yeah right here v v okay so that is your entries from tonight thank you very much again now, this is going to be the notepad that I put all of the names in. So I'm going to start off with grabbing all of the names from the post about the Odin 2 giveaway. So that is the post. And that was kind of a bonus if you guys paid attention sort of thing. And I'm going to paste that in here. Make sure there's no spaces at the top. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to save this so that I know control S all 10 K this 
spell all that right. All right, because I want this to be really quick, right? I don't want this to be like an hour long thing. It's going to be really quick. Everything's all gathered. I don't want to check 50 different names, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so these are all the names because I have gone through and already checked everything. Anybody that commented on the videos before 12 p.m. today got their entries in and then anybody that commented or became members or sent super thanks on the make switch video got extra entries as well and make sure there's no spaces because we are using random.org this was the short Okay, no spaces this time because I copied it from the right spot. And then this was just the MIG switch base entries, which glad people were paying attention because <laughs> I did say in there that, hey, if you made it this far, you gained yourself an entry. Now this was the super thanks from like any super chats or oh, super thanks, I guess is what you get on uh, on the actual video this was all the super thanks and these are all the entries for that now this is all the entries from tonight all the super thanks super stickers from tonight on the chat thank you very much this does help support the channel Becoming a member helps support the channel as well, of course. And if you become a member, you don't have to worry about missing any entries. You always get entries into the giveaways unless you've already won the same item already in the past. Now, these are all of my members. Now, these are all the entries for all of my members. I double checked these by five o'clock today. And if you upgraded after five o'clock, I'm sorry, but these are all the ones that you get. And this is everything ready to go. Now, I'm going to double check to make sure that I save this. <clears throat> so, all entries for Odin to base 10,000 celebration. There we go. Now it's saved. Perfect. Now, we're gonna do it. I don't think I commented on the post. Oh, never mind, I'm looking at. Good luck, Juan, you went crazy, my man. And the battery is way better in the Odin. <laughs> Door Galley has the same performance. The only difference is the controls in the big screen. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I'm just reading through all the chats. Good luck, everybody. Thank you again for 11,000. Are we at 11,111 yet? No, still six. Yeah, still stuck at six. Yeah, we're still stuck at six. 1,100 and 1,106. We lost 10,000 subscribers. I guess the giveaway is not happening. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 11,000. I just spit on my table. Um, yuck. I hope I'm lucky. <laughs> Good luck to everybody. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up. <clears throat> close down all these YouTube channels because I had to check some of your names multi-round giveaway and sign in never did add I have two dollars credit still so we're good new giveaway all right I want one of my members to name this giveaway one of my members that are still in here, name this giveaway. Whoever names it first, let's give this giveaway name a description. Put the name in the in the chat. I want you guys to put the name in there. I am going to move my Nintendo Switch out of the way. Hype you guys up. There it is. The Odin 2 base model going to one of you guys. The very first, don't forget, the Nether Odin 2 giveaway is going to be announced. Well, sort of announced next week. 
So pay attention to all my content, all my videos. I will put secrets into my videos of saying, hey, if you made it this far into the video or you made it to this point in the video, comment on this video to gain an entry sort of thing. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> DS wins for the people. <laughs> I don't know if I can... I, I'm not going to name a Diaz wins. <laughs> Post Eclipse giveaway. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one's kind of cool. I, I like that one. YOLO giveaway. I'm going to lose. <laughs> Nicholas Mudo. I didn't even know you were in here tonight. How's it going? America. All right. So we got to make this name a little bit more. I'm going to do Post Eclipse 10K giveaway. How about that? <laughs> Post... Eclipse. That eclipse was actually really cool. Did, I, did everybody watch that? Um, 10k celebration giveaway. I guess it depends on where you live too, right? Post eclipse 10k celebration giveaway. I kind of that kind of rhymed. <clears throat> so we're gonna roll the dice. So how this works is I roll the dice. It'll pick how many rounds we do, and then that makes it a lot fair. Giveaway for the Warriors. <laughs> Giveaway DMG Clan. <laughs> we have eight rounds. Click OK. Now you got to grab all of the names here, which are right here. Control all. Copy. We have 1,161 entries total. That is crazy. It's going up and up. If we start getting to like the 10,000s, we won't be able to do any of these giveaways on this site anymore. But that is <clears throat> a crazy amount. We're going to start the very first roll. I'm not going to talk like an auctioneer tonight, though, but because of my mouth is super dry. <laughs> I will hype everybody up, though. Where's my water again? Right here. I got to grab another drink. Good luck, everybody. Thank you again, everybody. I am going to announce the second giveaway. Best of luck, everybody, says Sync Daz. I think I said your name guy, right. Sin K Daz. <laughs> Let's roll it once. Begin the giveaway. Yes. One round very first round the last round obviously we have seven rounds left is the winner we got mike barbarian the greats code white boy frick jonathan anderson and i don't know how to say that person's name ryan anderson you got number 13 sorry this is number round one though so next number round is number two we got agron plus Chris christopher perovic we've seen you here tonight and juan sanchez made it to fourth eduardo mario and automatic hat made it to fifth we got next round for sixth round showing some heart showing some love we got beans for my pee hole that is um very weird um <laughs> what <laughs> beans for my pee hole we got robin marcus some people have some weird names on youtube what the heck is that curtis johnson made fifth and that is round max c you made it to seventh you're getting up there DMG clan, let's go. We got five rounds left. Good luck, everybody. Nicholas Murdo. Yes, hydrate. Take care, man. My mouth is like sticking together right now. Round number four. We got his keys gins cloud. Fair dicks 5440. Land Mathis. <laughs> Mazatka. Datman Dea 808 and abstract duality. Curtis Johnson's at ninth. Ian Pierre at 10th. Let's go with four rounds left. We have Victor Diaz, number one, Super Striker Boy at number two, EDI. Zwan Sanchez, we got some names up here that are uh, appearing a lot now. Victor Diaz, Ryan Anderson. Go Sammy Huazan at number eight, then Eugene Kovacki at ninth, and Tony Munez at 65, or Tony Munez 65 at 10th. Three rounds left. Good luck, Flux Compassitor. <laughs> Next round... Nerdy, Mimsock, 99, Gamer Greggy at third, Angel, fourth, and fifth. That final vibes. Truthful Joe at sixth. And yes, Gaming Anime at 99, 2 7 at eighth, and White Boy Frick again at tenth. Two more rounds left. We're getting there. Victor looks very strong, too. <laughs> Next round Alejandro Saavedra, Wesley Pike, Super Baiting, 1997, Kelly Guy. Antonio, Juan Sanchez at 6th, Ian Piera, Ian Mulligan, both 7th and 8th place, Truthful Joe and Bald Sage at 10th. We have one more round left, guys. Hit that heart, hit that subscribe button if you're just joining in. Man, I can't even win the mock rounds. Kredivas, <laughs> Christopher Perovic, Victor's looking good. No, should have been me. We have one more round left. Here we go. Are we all ready? 
throw some oh i can't do that let's do this dmg clan a b x and y let's go are we ready to go we are ready one more round final round let's see who wins this come on there it is lucas penna 9419 truthful joe at second you got very very close ian mulligan at fourth max c you made it to six that's crazy emily alexandra 8292 at fifth congratulations lucas penna 9419 you have five days to contact me to gain access to your odin 2 or gain access to your odin 2 to receive your odin 2 <laughs> yes you're not going to gain access to it you get to have it congratulations everybody thank you very much we have four more odin 2s to give away plus the bonus well not the bonus one the odin 2 for the members thank you very much congratulations lucas penna send me an email send me a message on my email which is on my about page I, I really appreciate everybody that's joined the channel so far i like giving back i like to give things back to you guys and if you become a member you get back anyways after six months and you'll love it you'll think it's worth it what i'm giving back to you guys based on your membership tier of course higher the membership tier you get something bigger and you also get extra entries to all these giveaways and stuff and you're joining an awesome dmg clan that is helping me grow as a channel and hopefully we can make it to 100,000 by the end of the year that's my goal 100,000 gamers by the end of the year would be pretty awesome 100,000 gamers that'd be a pretty big giveaway too I'm just letting you know that hope you guys have a nice rest of your night I am super dry mouth super tired we went out shopping randomly before I did this and got some chicken and some cookies and I got snow day which i'm gonna play not tonight tomorrow probably because i'm old and i need to go to bed thank you very much we should thank you yeah i thank you guys very very much congratulations lucas once again for winning the odin 2 base model thank you everybody that joined in tonight i will let you guys know about the second odin 2 there's already a video next week that's coming out that you can enter for the second odin 2 but there's a game behind it too so stay tuned for that. Have a nice night, guys. Love you all. See you next time. Stay tuned for Monday's video and my stupid short that's coming out tomorrow. Yes, it's stupid. Just watch it because you might find something interesting about it. Bye-bye. Or as I always say, 